this video we're going to show you how to lock and unlock specific cells in Microsoft Excel. So right now we're using Excel 2016, but this procedure should be the same for older versions like 2013 and 2010. So this workbook right here is locked, so we can't do anything to any cell. We try and type something in there, and we get to say it's protected. We try and go something here and change that. It's protected. But let's say the only things we wanted to protect were these cells and not all the other ones so people can make changes. So the first thing you want to do is to unprotect the worksheet. And if we go to the review tab here, you just click on unprotect sheet. And then now you want to select the whole spreadsheet here with this button up here in the top left. And you could either go to home and then from the font menu, you could click that. Or you could right click on the corner here and go to format cells, takes you to the same place. And then you want to go to the protection tab and unlock all the cells. And then click OK. So now it's unprotected and everything's unlocked. So now what we want to do is let's say, OK, we want just these office numbers to be protected. So we're going to highlight these and then go back to that format cells. We'll do it the other way this time from the font group. And then protection tab. And so now we're just going to lock those cells and click OK. And so now we have to go back to the review tab and protect the sheet. And here are some options for what we're going to allow users to do. And we could also put a password in there. If you want to have somebody be able to unlock the sheet, then they could put in the password and then make some other changes. And if you don't put in a password, somebody could easily just go back and unprotect the sheet. It'll just allow them to reverse everything you did. So you probably want to put in a password if you really don't want them in there. So here's all the um, options you could let the users do. So we're going to just say, OK, the defaults here. And so now we're going to go to the cell here. And let's see if we can put something in. Yes, we can. Can we change this to 288? Yes, we can, or 2880. And now we want to change this to 202. What happens? Nope, doesn't let us. It says a cell or chart you're trying to change is password. It's on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter password, and that's the password we are just talking about. So now we have our spreadsheet, and anything could be edited except for this office number extension, and that's exactly what we wanted. So hopefully that makes sense, and, and you could go ahead and try that for yourself, and password protects specific cells. All right, thanks for watching.